Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Today I have a little project share for you guys. I also have some information regarding one of our little activities over at the Diamond Dice Facebook group page. So I am involved in the monthly card swap. I try to join every single month over at the Diamond Dice Facebook group page. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I have a little dry throat this morning. Just taking a little sip of my tea here. So, as I was saying, we have a Facebook group where we have a monthly card swap. And I'm asking for a little help, guys, because I have a lot of friends that I know that definitely have purchased some diamond dyes over the last... I would say a year or two and my friends on YouTube are so wonderful they're amazing they're the sweetest group of people I have ever met ever and I know that technically I haven't met you guys but you know what I mean that I communicate with that we share with amazing group of people but guys you went and bought these dyes and I don't see you guys joining these groups and it amazes me because a lot of you are card makers and we have well let me tell you a little bit about the group first it's a monthly card swap and what it is is you sign up you're giving a secret card swap partner you're gonna make this person a card and then you're gonna ship the card out to them it's gonna be a blank card something that they can use at a later date if they choose or they can put it on display or they can do whatever they want with it you're just gonna make them a card um, it'd be nice if an envelope was also attached with it and you're gonna send it to them um, so they can do what they want with um, at some point this person will receive this card in the mail and it will be a surprise because they have no idea that you are their secret card swap partner what I love about this is a it gets you to meet new people either on Facebook or YouTube you don't have to have a YouTube channel to join it nor do you have to have a Facebook group but you have to have one or the other so that you can post your project either a picture or a videotape of your project so that the Diamond Dice group gets to see it as well as your partner and at the end of the month what Dee does is she takes everyone who participated minus the DT members because the DT members are not participating in the giveaway part. At the end of the month, she will have a secret drawing from all those who participated and whoever the winner is, they win a $15 gift certificate to her store to purchase more dyes. And guys, I, just, I keep saying this. I've been saying this. I kind of feel like I sound like a broken record. But it is a win-win situation. You get to meet new people. You get a card in the mail. A surprise. If you like swapping, if you like that whole interactive part of being in a Facebook group, you get that. You also get to put yourself in a giveaway or to allow yourself an entry in a giveaway. And you might even win a die just for participating and you know the more dies the more projects the more wins the more dies the more projects the more wins it's like a little cycle lately we haven't had too many people joining us over on the Facebook group I'm thinking it's the holidays I'm thinking it's winter time we're all getting like little bears where we just want to hibernate but I'm hoping that after watching this video, a lot of my girlfriends out there who are listening and a lot of my friends, my gentleman friends as well, that you'll go over to the Facebook group and join us and have fun making cards with us. That being said, I also want to remind you that Diamond Dice um, is a small little um, company. Uh, it is a family-based company. Um, she makes all her dyes herself, stainless steel, in the USA. They are compatible with all die-cutting machines. They cut beautifully. If you have not purchased from her before, you must simply, simply try her nesting dyes, her flower dyes. 
are the best out there I keep saying I'm in love with her flower dies and you'll see with my projects what I mean they're super fun super easy super fast since I've owned diamond dye dies for flower making I have not purchased flower dies um, anymore it's just I have no need to purchase flower dies anymore um, also any order $35 or more and you will get free shipping and it doesn't matter where you live that's for US and international customers and I don't know anyone that offers that anymore either so come and join us and have some fun with us now I did not I think the only two nesting sets that I did not put out here that I used on my project was the scalloped oval and the scalloped die set which are two nesting sets amazing her nesting sets I'm telling you they are amazing those were the only two that I used that I don't have out here uh, but I also used other dyes I use my nature's flourish dye which is this one right here I used my sugar plum flower set I also used my dogwood flower set I used the melody of leaf set I used my mini envelope set and guys this die right here OMG I, mean, I have neglected this little set right here oh I loved it love using it I also used a spellbinders die that I have in my stash I used my Marnock butterfly set which are these two right here I also used my cherry blossom flower set which is this one right here but this does come into pieces it comes with the branch as well as the dye of flowers and I love the fact that she put three so that means less cranking for me <laughs> and I also use my nesting heart set and I wanted to um, you know because it's Valentine's Day and all and it's not too late to go over and pick this up guys this heart set brings a total of eight guys eight dies now I went looking online and I have to tell you I didn't find anyone else out there that offers eight pieces to their nesting set not only that look at how large the largest of the large is this is enough to make create a mini album if you wanted to um, great to put a photo for layouts I mean I think that's what I love so much about her nesting sets is the 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 range of sizes is unlike anyone else it really is so guys those are the dies that I used and I my secret partner this month was Rosa Gomez now if you don't know Rosa Gomez she is a fellow designer for diamond dies she is amazing uber talented she's a sweet 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 woman I watch her channel very often she right now was working uh, making interactive cards she was working on some trifold cards some box cards beautiful stuff she was doing um, so I wanted to do something different for her I wanted to do something nice for her and I decided to make a crisscross card I have never made a Christmas course I'm sorry I've never made a crisscross card this is the first time I'm actually attempting it and I have to tell you I think I'm hooked I'm gonna go make a few more after I make this one of course <coughs> now I will be pre-recording this video because I cannot post the video until I'm sure that Rosa has received her card and we have a major blizzard headed our way I am a little late and <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a lot late now with the snow so I do want to apologize ahead of time in case this does arrive a little late Rosa um, I got caught in the snowstorm <laughs> but now uh, never fear you will get your card so this is a six by six card I did follow a tutorial on YouTube um, the tutorial was made by joy stamping or stamping joy something like that however you can find these cards all over YouTube guys just Google uh, Google <laughs> just put uh, in the search engine for YouTube Chris course cards and you'll see thousands and thousands um, so let's get started now for my image I colored her with Copics 
my Copic markers, I used this beautiful little lovely lady, which is Mail Tilda. And I wanted to use Mail Tilda because she had a little envelope with that heart on it. Plus she had all these little hearts around her. And I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of the whole letter and the whole card swap and it being about cards and letters and happy mail and hearts and Valentine's Day. I just, I thought she would be great. And I also thought that Rosa would like having that little colored image. I also wanted to play with my envelope die um, from Diamond Dice. It comes with the envelope and the little um, card that goes inside. So I went with that. And that was the basis of the whole card was that little image and this little envelope tie. I also used my word dies, which I didn't tell you about. My diamond dyed word dies. I used the XOXO, as you can see there. So let's get started. Um, let me start with the insert part first. This is the little card insert. And what I did for this was I put a Nature's Flourish die here. Um, and this is one of my diamond dice. Um, to my diamond dice, I took the little negatives that came out of this little Martha Stewart border punch. And I don't know if you can see that. It has like little hearts all over. Well, I use the negatives, the little heart pieces. And that's what I have glued around the little Nature's Flourish. Then I have two of my diamond die butterfly dies. The Monarch Butterfly said I made those there. To the center of those, I added these little flowers that I made using my cherry blossom. And I wanted to share with you those flowers because I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up dimension-wise. Um, but if you can see the flowers, they both came from the same dye, yet they are two totally different flowers. This one is facing one way, and this one is facing another way. So I have this one looking more like a little cherry blossom and this one looking more like a little daisy. I just wanted to do two different flowers so that you can see, even though it's the same exact dye, you can get two different looks from their flowers. Um, and of course I use my um, border dye, bracket dye from Spellbinders on the sides. And here she, now I left this blank because again, like I said, Rosa is a fellow crafter. And she can use and stamp whatever she wants here, or she can go in the back. And because I have a lot of white in the card, she can use any one of her little white dyes if she wanted to, to put more um, sentiments. Or she can just write on here as well, depending on what color pen or marker. Um, lots, of, lots of options for her and lots of room for her to do whatever she wants with the card. And it goes in and out easy and you can use the little butterfly as a pull for the card. The hearts I cut out of chipboard. I distressed everything with my Hickory Smoked Distress Ink which is one of my newer inks by Tim Hulse. And I absolutely love it because um, if you want some dark shadowing, but you don't want black, black is too harsh, it's perfect. I really, really, really love it. Now, the hearts, I did several layers. I did one out of design paper, one out of pink cardstock, and one out of uh, blue cardstock. And I also cut these out of cereal boxes to give it some thickness. And I also put them on pop dots to layer them up, as you can see there. I have some foam adhesive um, just to give it out of dimension and to help with the layering of the flowers. And I have a little glue string here that I didn't see. <laughs> um, I fussy cut little Miss Tilda here. And then I don't know if you can see where I added those some more of those little negative hearts. So here on the collage part, here's one of the diamond dye little hearts that I tucked in there. Here's uh, one of the little letters that I made with the envelope and letter die set. To that, I added some more of these little tiny hearts and some XOXO. These are the diamond dyed word dies. Here's my diamond dye cherry blossom die flower, which I added a little pearl. Here's the nature's flourish. Uh, these are some little sprays from a Martha Stewart punch that I used. It's the um, small branch punch. 
here I added a little dogwood flower and to all my flowers I added little flat back pearls. Now I know Rosa loves bows so I added a little pink bow over here for her so that um, I know she loves bows. She has this thing with bows. <laughs> so I wanted to add a little bow. Um, here I have my sugar plum flowers, some more nature flourish. Again, I tucked in uh, some more little hearts. Here's that envelope die that I cut out of patterned paper. I also distressed it and I tucked it behind the heart as well. I have some more sugar plum flowers, sugar plum flowers, dogwood flowers. And here I tucked in two more of those little um, cards from the envelope die set. And I cut that out of pattern paper and regular cardstock. I distressed it. And I tucked in a, a few more little hearts. Now the hearts were from the smallest, smallest um, die from the nesting set. And it would be the little baby heart. That little teeny tiny one. This one right here. And I have quite a few of them scattered all about. And then I have the Martha Stewart heart um, border punch die, uh, punchy thingy. <laughs> I said die. This is the border heart punch. And I think it's lacy hearts. I'm not even sure. So guys, that's what my card looks like. Again, I have um, some more sugar plum flowers here, cherry blossom flowers here. And like I said, it, she could use this as a birthday card. She could use this as just a hello card for a friend. She doesn't have to use it at all. If she just wants to keep it, she could do that too. She could use it as a Valentine's Day card. She could use it as an I miss you card, um, sending a note. I love the card for that. You can use it for anything. And since I didn't use traditional Valentine's Day colors, I used pink and blue and yellow. Well, I didn't use yellow, but there's a lot of yellow in the um, in the pattern paper. Um, she can use this for whatever she really wants. Um, so I hope she really likes the card. In addition to the card, though, I couldn't stop there. I wanted to make my Rosa something else. Um, and I've been kind of thinking, you know, I want to make her a little something to take. And... I wanted to use the same papers that I used, which was the um, Bow Bunny Bump Collection. Love this paper stack. Um, I had not used it till now, and I just love the colors of this paper stack. I'm going to go make some more crisscross cards. Um, so I decided to make her one of my little tea caddies. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I made quite a few of these for the Christmas holidays. As a matter of fact, uh, Jamie, who is Poet Spice here on YouTube, she just won one on a secret giveaway. Um, from And I'm doing that a lot, guys. I'm doing lots of secret giveaways on my channel this year. Um, it'll just be random videos I'll go in the comment section just put everyone's name in a jar and start pulling so if you want to be included in these secret giveaways you have to leave a comment that's the only way you're gonna win anything on my channel um, for the next couple of months um, unless I have a challenge giveaway and then that'll be different so I made her a little tea caddy again I used those same papers from uh, from the card which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that beautiful paper here. I just fell in love with that paper. But you don't get to see it too much here. And I did cover the whole inside of the card. Uh, you don't get to see that beautiful paper too much here. So I decided to show it off on the tea caddy. Now I do not know if Rosa is a tea drinker or not. <laughs> I'm hoping she is. But I made her one of my little tea caddies. Now, the inspiration for this tea caddy I did get from YouTube. And I will put the video for this tea caddy. However, I will say that this I kind of finagled with her measurements. Her caddy and my caddy, same concept. I use all her measurements except for the outside of the box. My box is way, way smaller. Um, I just didn't like the measurements of the other one. It was just a little too big for me. I prefer this size. I think this is a lot nicer. Also, 
this is not just a caddy for tea. You could put anything you want in here. I found accidentally that it's a perfect post-it note holder as well. So if you have any teachers, um, you know, maybe for Easter or Mother's Day coming up, I do have a tutorial on how I made these on my channel. You can go look for the tea caddy tutorial for that. And, uh, and hopefully you'll give these a try as well. So for the box on the outside, like I said, I use those papers to decorate. I use my Diamond Dice um, oval nesting set and my scalloped oval nesting set. I also use my Diamond Dice Monarch Butterfly set, my Diamond Dice Cherry Blossom set, and my Diamond Dice Dogwood Flowers and uh, Sugar Plum Flowers and Medley of Leaves set. And that's what I made. Now the lilies here, these I bought on eBay, they're made out of like a foam. They are calla lilies and those are probably the only flowers I still buy. <laughs> and only because I haven't figured out how to make them. So here's where I use my melody of leaves. I have pearls, flat pack pearls at centers to all my flowers. And then I have this pretty pink ribbon and again Knowing how much Rosa likes bows, um, she has a little bow here. And this bow, when she undo undoes it, on the inside, you have your little teas. And you can take one of your little tea bags and just tuck them in. It holds up to six tea bags comfortably. But like I said, you can use this also to hold post-it notes for a teacher. A big old pack fits right in there. <coughs> and because the sides are um, half an inch, more than enough room, more than enough room, more than enough room for as many little tea bags as you want to send your friend. And Rosa will be getting these tea bags from me. From me to her. Oh, I dropped one. Oh, I'll get that one in a minute. And then, when she finishes using the tea, or let's say she doesn't like tea, but she would like to just pass along those tea bags to one of her friends that she does know that likes tea, she can use this little caddy here for, like I said, post it notes or die cuts. She could put some. Gerobaldi chocolates in and send it on over to someone or even just have it in her purse or her little area wherever she works um, and just have a little something to hold her little items and because of the way that it's made nothing will fall out because <coughs> the um the pockets are facing that way, so everything will stay nice and secure, as long as not is not anything loose that can fall through, that is. So I made her a little tea caddy to go with her card, and it is a secret. She doesn't know that she's getting this, but these are my Diamond Dye Projects for Diamond Dye's secret card swap hidden giveaway. <laughs> and I say hidden because you don't know who your swap partner is until you get the card it's a secret it's a surprise i hope you guys like my project i hope you like the video like i said i have a tutorial for my tea caddy on my channel um, you guys can find that if you can't find it just leave me a com uh, a note in the comment section and i will try to find it for you i know i make quite a few videos and it does get lost um, sometimes and also if you like the crisscross card go on over to YouTube there's lots of tutorials for you to um, pick from and maybe you too can uh, work on a little crisscross card today I have a few more I'm gonna go make now <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking thank you all for joining me today I know it's a little bit of a long video and like I said come on over to the Diamond Dice face group join our awesome card swap especially if you love dice I know you're gonna have an amazing time like I said it's a nice way to meet some new people and it's a lot a lot a lot of fun 
Thank you all for watching. Have a really blessed day, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.